Next question is from Melissa Noft. If women account for 50% of gym memberships and the population in general, and strength training is so important, why don't gyms try to make efforts to entice women to lift? Well, oh, yeah. that's funny because what well, hasn't that been the initiative? Well, well first of all, wait, wait, hold on. what is, what is enticing women to lift uh, the weights look like? Does it look like painting the machines purple like they've yeah. tried in the past? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, is that what, well, is that tried. what you're looking for? You know what? They've tried, and they're right. This is true. Now, they're, they're, it, women make up fifty percent of the population, but actually that's are not- a majority of the consumer population. Like women are the consumers. Uh, uh, you know, of the population. They do a lot of the purchases. They have most of the buying power. It's totally true. Um, and gyms have attracted women, but it's but they've attracted women with group exercise classes, mm-hmm. yoga classes, and cardio. And they, they've tried attracting women with resistance training, but it hasn't worked. Now, it's working more nowadays because the information coming out is more accurate. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of myth that we've had to overcome like that muscle you know strength training builds big bulky muscles that it makes you look manly that if you want a long lean toned physique you need to do lots of cardio in classes and stay away from the weights that's this takes a long time to erase that well yeah there's a lot of stigma still around that yeah and and two like the environment itself it's like they've tried really hard to kind of like tone down a lot of the aggressive kind of uh you know vibe when you go into the weight room itself because the weight room itself was always a bit intimidating even for your average person even guys you know just coming in uh and let alone you know women coming in to try and like do their thing so um i think there's a lot of work still needs to be done with that but i think there has been a lot of thought and focus around at least putting the information out so women realize like how much more effective uh you know they Right. Could, they could make their workouts towards their goal. Well, there's a couple things I want to address. One, I don't understand what the get get some representation here means. What would you guys' answer to that? Like, what would what would you I do to she, to represent? I think what she's saying is is why don't gyms, knowing that there's half their members are women Got or it. more, okay, why aren't they making the weight rooms? more attractive to women. Well, that's my point. So what does that look like? Tra- painting it fucking purple? What well, are you saying? What, what would is make it, it the machines are, are because there was like some machines that you couldn't like, you know, for people that were smaller in, in general, like they would like, you know, some of the machines weren't set up, you know, to, to, to no. favor that. But like, I don't, I don't see any that's other. That's what I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to challenge you both in, okay? Yeah, it's, <laughs> that it's you're weird. not addressing is what, how, how would a gym do that to give women a better representation? I don't understand I, that. Without being condescending. Right, that's, exactly. That's, yeah. that's my point. Yeah. I, I'm, by the way, I'm I'm being sarcastic when I say paint it purple. Right. I know that's sexist. I would never say that, that that thing is a good idea, but that's what I think. That's how they pandered to women in the past is by changing the color of the machine, the same goddamn machine a guy's lifting on the in the other room that's green. So yeah, yeah. what would they do to give you a better representation? That's my first thing. And then the second thing I'll address in this is, uh, you know, it takes me to my conversation this last weekend where I was with our marketing team, and he's constantly reminding me that, you are the minority, Adam. You are not the majority. You you having the understanding of like how people should exercise and why strength training is so important to women, you are a sliver of what the majority think. Mm-hmm. 99% of women still think that lifting heavy weights and squatting and deadlifting is not ideal for them. Mm-hmm. So I that you got to understand that still like you, this the person who's asking this question uh you're not that that group you are obviously aware of it and I think that what we're doing with this show and have been trying to do for the last six years is to shift that conversation. Mm-hmm. And that's what inspired us because we saw the opportunity because there's not a lot of people that were yeah. speaking to women about strength training and the importance Look, of it. Look, I manage gyms for long, big box gyms. Like th- These are the kind of gyms that mm-hmm. are attra- the mainstream gyms, right? So these weren't bodybuilder gyms. They were just mainstream fitness facilities. And it was pretty rare that a new member, a female new member, would come in and ask uh, to see the weight room because that's what she was most right. interested in. Cardio or the group X. Right. So so the gyms really are just reflecting the market uh, that's demand. Right. Yeah. So, But it's changing, okay? Because when I first started 20-something years ago, uh, you saw one woman in the weight room or none. Um, now you're start, it looks like 20%. Yeah. Uh, of them. So it's increased quite a bit and it's continuing to increase as that gets uh, becomes a bigger portion or, or is that, is that some, something that they demand and want? Then you start to see gyms start to change, uh, a, a little bit or maybe not change at all. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't see, I don't see a gym 
changing the the structure of it or the I don't know maybe the the conversation around it maybe the commer and maybe that's what you're asking me right now maybe like uh, when you like right now when we watch. Um, TV and you get like a, maybe a 24 hour fitness or a, you yeah. know, why, why aren't there more women like, you know, squatting 225 on in the commercial or something? Mm -hmm. Like I get that, like maybe that's what you're looking for. And I, and I look forward to the day that you see more well, of that. Yeah, more of a cultural portrayal of a lot of women <laughs> lifting weights as opposed to always doing cardio. I mean, I don't really know that, yeah, it's going to come from, uh, uh, you know, outside sources coming into the gym. I don't think the gym is really going to be able to like structure that. Well, now. I think no. here's another thing I, and we've uh, given. Even CrossFit, uh, lots of credit. Here's another place where, you know, I think they've done a good job here. Right. I think that you see the, a, a lot of uh, women with great bodies that do CrossFit and they lift heavy ass weight. And yeah. so they, they've done a good job of representing representing women lifting heavy weight. Yeah. You know, this is, uh, so this is kind of behind that. The, the book that I've been, you know, putting together and writing in is, is really talking about uh, some of the damage that's been caused to people's health because resistance training is not... There's, it's still got this kind of aura around it where, oh, it's for, for guys who want to build a lot of muscle or bodybuilders. I mean, let's take the, the conversation even further, right? Yes, women feel this way, but just even mainstream, average person. The average person, when they think about exercise, if they go to the doctor and the doctor says, hey, you need to go work out, they don't think to themselves that they should go lift weights. That's not mm -hmm. the first thing that pops in their no, mind. No. They think I'm going to go swim or yeah, run. Go run. E or... Even though the evidence, the evidence is actually quite clear now that if you had to pick one form of exercise, resistance training is superior. It's just superior, especially when you consider the context of modern life. And even if you consider everybody's goals, if you're older, oh, I want to strengthen my bones and move more, move better. What's the best form of exercise for that resistance training? Oh, I, I want to, I just want to lose weight. I want to, I want to lose weight and I need a faster metabolism. Resistance training is the best form of exercise. I want to get stronger and build muscle. Obviously resistance training. So I think, I, I hope that soon we're going to start to make that shift where that becomes the de facto, you know, form of exercise. It's the one that the de default form of exercise that people turn to. But I mean, I get why it happened. The The original people that showed people what resistance training was all about were bodybuilders. So of course- yeah. It's taking know, a while. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna take a while. It was like Arnold, you yeah. know? We and just then, gotta need more examples. We just need, be yeah, we need better examples. That's a, that's a good thing to say.